last uh, videos we have looked at uh, definition of a group we looked at various examples some basic properties of groups so let me start today this video by working out some examples and exercises uh, on groups and then we'll study uh, more uh, notions of groups okay so let's start with a question so i i i will do a few exercises now and i'll work them out in detail so that you can do more similar examples so let's say i ask whether the following or groups okay so uh, first let's say the underlying set is z we have seen uh, in the previous videos that z is a group under addition but here i am giving a different binary operation let's say i define this is the definition so i define a star b to be a minus b so certainly this is a binary operation because if i take two integers apply star which in this problem is just taking the difference you get an integer for example if you do 5 minus 3 you get 2 so similarly 3 minus 5 is minus 2 so it is a binary operation so far so good there is also a an identity element right because you can uh, 0 is the identity element if you subtract 0 you get uh, the element back but actually i have to be careful right is this true really is 0 the identity element certainly if you do a minus 0 so a star 0 is a minus 0 which is a that is okay but remember that we want 0 star a to be also a but 0 star a is 0 minus a which is minus a so actually 0 is not the identity element and you can check that so 0 is not identity you can in fact check that there is no identity that is because really 0 is the only possible identity because when you subtract 0 from a you get a if you subtract anything else you do not get a and you can also check that uh, star is also not uh, associative Okay. So, I will simply write here for example, if you do 5 minus 3 minus 2 that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 whereas 5 minus 3 minus 2 is 2 minus 2 which is 0. Okay. So, it is not associative. So, this is not a group. So, this is not a group. Okay. So, this should suggest to you that operation is very important. right? subtraction is a very natural operation but under it the integers do not form a group okay let me look at a different example now let's look at uh, the same set let's look at the same set but now i define a new operation again the set is a set of integers but the operation is the following so i do a star b is defined to be a plus b plus a b. Okay. So, this is again the definition of an operation. So, for example, if you do 3 star 5, you get 3 plus 5 plus 15. So, that is 23. So, this is certainly a binary operation. Because if you perform this operation on integers, you do get an integer. So, this is a binary operation. Is there a integer it is an identity element so if you do a star 0 you get a plus 0 plus 0 which is a and if you do 0 star a you get 0 plus a 
plus 0 which is a. So, this is true for all a in z. So, a 0 is the identity element. So, that is good. So, we have uh, an identity element, it is a closed operation. So, is it associative? How do you check associativity? We want to do a star b star c. What is this? This is first I am doing a star b. So, this is a plus b plus a b star c. This is remember that when I star I take the first one plus the second one plus the product of the two. So, here the first element is a plus b plus a b, second element is c plus the product. So, that is a c plus b c plus a b c. So, that is the element a star b in bracket then star c. On the other hand if you do a star b star c this is a star b plus c plus b c. Okay. Now, again remember star means we take the sum of the two terms and then add the product of the two terms to this first two terms. So, you get a plus b plus c plus b c plus the product which is a b plus a c plus a b c. So, now if you actually look at these two these are equal because a is there, b is there, c is there, a b, a c, b c are there, a b c is there. So, these are equal. And so, star is actually associative also. Okay. So, it has three of the four properties that we want, but we need to check now for inverse. So, what would be an inverse of this? So, we want and we have already noted that the identity element is 0. So, we want given an element a in integers we want, what do we want? We want b which is another integer such that a star b is 0, because that is the definition of inverse. And remember that b star a is also a, so that is ok. If b has this property, it will automatically have this property. Okay. But what is a star b? That means, a plus b plus a b must be 0. Okay, so, we know a, we have to solve for b. So, let us try to solve for b. So, this will be a plus b times 1 plus a equal to 0. So, we can try to write it like this a b times 1 plus a is equal to minus a. So, b should be minus a divided by 1 plus a. Okay. This is what b should be if a star b is 0, but now there are problems here. First of all, this is not an integer. If a, and a is an integer, this is not an integer in general, right? because you are dividing by this. So, for example, if a is 2, b should be minus 2 divided by 3. This is not in z. So, star does not have, does not admit inverses. Okay. So, z comma star is we can immediately conclude that it is not a group. Note that it has three properties that is ok binary operation identity associative, but it does not admit inverses. So, it is not a group, okay. but let us look a bit more closely at this operation. Why did uh, inverses not exist here? Because we, we have to consider rational numbers. So, what about how about enlarging our set? So, how about the same operation star, but on let us say q the set of rational numbers. So, here in the previous page we saw that the inverse of 2 under this operation should be minus 2 by 3, which uh, is not an integer, but it is a rational number. So, it looks like star must admit inverses in rational numbers, but uh, remember what is the inverse of a? It should be uh, if you recall it should be minus a divided by 
a plus 1. This is ok, it is in rational numbers, but there is a problem, it is not defined when a is minus 1. So, because when a is minus 1, the denominator is 0 here. So, this is not a well defined number. So, even if you take the larger set of rational numbers, the star operation will not have inverse for minus 1. So, it will have inverses for every other element, because 1 plus a will not be 0. So, minus a divided by 1 plus a is a well defined rational number. So, a equal to minus 1 is the only problem. So, now we set let us say q minus, okay. so in other words I am removing minus 1 from this set. So, I am looking at the set of rational numbers different from minus 1. So, let us say g is this. If g is this, so I should not write g is the collection of rational numbers different from minus 1. Then, then what we have verified says that g star is a group. Recall that star is again as before, it is a plus b times a plus a b. So, under this g star is a group. If you eliminate minus 1 from q, you can make it a group. Okay. So, this example is a good example to keep in mind, because we started with z under this operation. We started with z under this operation. We saw that it is a binary operation, it has identity element, it is associative. However, it does not have uh, inverses in z. So, if you add, if you enlarge your set and consider all rational numbers, then it has inverses except when we are looking at minus 1. So, we have removed it from the set and we only looked at rational numbers different from minus 1. Then g star is a group. Okay. So, we, we have sometimes we have to add more elements, sometimes we have to delete some elements in order to obtain a group. Let us look at another uh, example. So, I do not uh, recall the numbering here. So, maybe this is the third example. So, let us look at the set of rational numbers which have the property as I will write now. So, rational numbers can always be written like this. Okay. There are ratios of integers. So, let us say a and b are co prime. Co prime means they have no common factors. We say that a and b are co prime. So, I am going to quickly define in case you are not familiar with this word. If they have no common factors. Okay. So, for example, 6 and uh, 10 are not co prime, because uh, 2 divides them. On the other hand, 6, 2 divides 6, 2 divides 5. So, they, they have a common factor. On the other hand, 6 and 9 actually 6 and 9 are also not co prime, but if you take 6 and let us say 25, only factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25, factors of 6 are 1, 2, 6, 3 and 6. So, there are no common factors. So, these are co prime. When you write a rational number, you can always uh, cancel all the common factors. So, you can write it in the reduced form. So, I take reduced form. So, a b are co prime and suppose that 5 divides b. This is my set. So, the set that I am considering is set of rational numbers in the reduced form, where the 5, where denominator is divisible by 5. So, for example, if you have uh, 1 by 5 is in g. Um, uh, remember, uh, but uh, 1 by 4 is not in g. And remember that you have to consider the reduced form. For example, 1 by 5 is also same as 2 by 10. 
uh, sorry. So, 1 by 4 is also same as uh, 5 by 20, right. And you can look at this and say 5 divides 20, so 5 by 20 belongs to G, that is not correct. I must first cancel all common factors and then ask whether 5 divides the denominator, okay. So, 1 by 4 is not in G. Is this a group? Is G a group? under addition of rational numbers. So, I can add rational numbers. In fact, Q under addition is a group. I am asking for a subset of that under the same operation. Is it a group? So, what is the um, so here uh, you can check that various properties fail here. For example, uh, even the closure is not true. For example, if you take 2 by 5 and add 3 by 5 to it. Remember, 2 by 5 is in G, 3 by 5 is in G. 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 are in G because they are in the reduced form and 5 divides the denominator. But what is 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5? that is 5 by 5, which is not in reduced form. So, you have to cancel and you get 1 by 1. It is now in the reduced form, but 1 by 1 is it in G? You have to ask yourself whether 5 divides the denominator. It does not. So, 1 by 1 is not in G. So, this is not a group because it is not even a binary operation. So, it is not a group because G is not closed under addition. So, this is not a group. Now, I so is this clear? So, G e, as defined here is not a group because it is not closed under addition. Now, let me modify this. Let me take G prime. I, I use this G dash to denote a different set now. This is all rational numbers Again, A and B are co prime. So, the, the rational number is in reduced form, but unlike in the previous example, now I demand that 5 does not divide. So, so by the way, when I write this symbol, I should have remembered when I write 5 this symbol, this means 5 divides B. So, five, B is divisible by 5. And now, let us say 5 does not divide B. So, it is very similar to the previous example, but it is very different also, because now I want the denominator to be not divisible by B. For example, here 1 by 2 is in G prime, but 1 by 2, 1 by 5 is not in G prime. 5 does not divide 2, so 1 by 2 is in G prime, 5 divides 5, so 1 by 5 is not in G prime. Is G prime a group under addition? So, now the same question. The previous example also I asked is G prime a group under addition, is G a group under addition and we saw that it does not even satisfy the first property. It is not a binary operation, addition is not a binary operation. So, I conclude that G, G here was not a group. Now, I have modified G. I, I have looked at G prime and now I am asking is it a group under addition. So, let us ask, let us take A by B and C by D are in G prime. So, let they let them be in G prime. So, in particular remember that they are in reduced form and 5 does not divide B, 5 does not divide D. What is their sum? So, if you sum them, it is a plus b, a by b by c plus d and this is simply a d plus b c divided by b d. Now, the question is, is this in g prime? We have started with two elements of g prime, we have taken their sum and seen asking whether the sum is in g prime. In the previous example, the sum is not in g, sum of two things in g is not in g in this case is it true. Now, the point is first of all this may not be in reduced form, 
but that does not matter because note that 5 does not divide remember by definition 5 does not divide A and 5 does not divide B also that is because that is because A by B is in G prime and A by B is in reduced form. So, phi does not divide B, C by D is also in G prime. So, by definition of G prime, phi does not divide D. Now, a property of prime numbers says that if phi does not divide A and phi does not divide B, phi does not, sorry, I should not write A here. Remember, phi does not divide B is what I should write. Phi does not divide the new denominator. Phi does not divide B, phi does not divide D in the second example. So, phi does not divide B D, because one definition of prime number is that if phi divides B D the product, then it must divide either B or D. So, that is not the case. It does not divide B, it does not divide D. So, if phi does not divide B D, now let us look at this. Let us look at this rational number. While it may be the case that this is not in reduced form, and you might have to cancel some factors, but 5 does not divide B D as it is already. So, if you further cancel some factors, there will be fewer factors. So, 5 will definitely not divide that new fact new after cancelling whatever is the denominator, 5 does not divide it also. So, in the reduced form after you find the reduced form of this, you can conclude that this is in G prime. So, let me repeat the argument again. Why, why am I saying that this is in G prime? Because 5 does not divide B times D, even after cancelling common factors of this ratio, whatever is the new denominator also will have the property that 5 does not divide it. Because in the new, after cancelling the new denominator will have fewer factors than B D. B D does not have 5 as a factor. So, after cancelling some, it, whatever you get will continue to not have 5 as a factor. So, this will be in G prime. So, in other words the upshot is that G prime is closed under addition, which is the first property that we want for a group. So, addition is a binary operation on G prime. So, now let us verify the other properties. For example, what is the uh, identity element for addition? It must be 0. So, you have to ask is 0 in G prime? It is because 0 is 0 by 1 and phi does not divide 1. So, 0 is in G prime. This is ok. What is inverse of A by B? Inverse of A by B is minus A by B and if A by B is if A by B is in G prime, then 5 does not divide B, right. That is the definition. It is in the reduced form and 5 does not divide the numerator. So, then obviously, minus A by B will also be in G prime, because denominator is the same, 5 does not divide B. So, inverses exist and addition is certainly associative. That is because in addition is associative on the set of rational numbers. So, this is ok. Inverses exist, it is closed under addition, there is identity. So, G prime is a group, we conclude that G prime is a group under addition. So, again this example is very nice to keep in mind, because we have in, in earlier we have looked at G, which is all rational numbers where 5 divides the denominator, it is not a group. Whereas, if you modify the definition slightly and say 5 does not divide B, it becomes a group. Okay. So, this is an important group that will, uh, it is an example of what we will later call a subgroup of a group. So, we will come back to this later, but we will say that G prime is actually, I will write it here just so that you keep in mind, I, I will refer to this later. G prime is a subgroup of Q. 
Okay. So, this is as of now it may not mean anything to you, but we will keep we will come back to this.